Joining us now in Studio B and rocking the sombrero, much better than I did, I might say, is Ula Tolutao, BYU running back. Ula, welcome to Studio B. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What's with the number two T-shirt, man? Explain that. Oh, so this is a uh, this is the foundation that we this is part of the foundation, one of the foundation shirts that we that we did in New York, the More to Life Foundation that. Uh, Coach Stock is in charge of. That's fantastic. And you bring that up. Let's talk about your trip and visit to Harlem. We talked to one of the founders of the Harlem Jets yesterday. It was fantastic to hear what that meant to him and the kids. Now we want to get your perspective. As a BYU football player, what was it like to work with that youth football group in Harlem, New York? It was definitely worth it. They were about, I'd say, almost 250, 250 uh, little, little youth kids that we had to uh, take care of. And it was just a great experience to see them, um, to see them with us, to see their 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 uh, faces glow, and all that. It was good. We, as Spencer mentioned, we we had the the coach on yesterday, and he was talking about how you've completely turned the entire Harlem Jets team into BYU fans. They're going to have a a watch party for the Houston game. What was that like to be to have that kind of a reception with that team? I thought it was really cool. Like even though we were in one part of Harlem. I think the whole neighborhood saw us there. They, they, they would walk by and they'd, they'd stand around the gates. And of course, when it was food time, we, we'd, we'd share with everyone. So it was definitely good to see the whole community there. Were they gawking at your size, Ula? Um, a little bit. Nobody thought I was a running back there. <laughs> what, did they, what, what position did they thought you played? They thought I played offensive line. Are you serious? Yeah, because they, they don't know what Polynesians are. They never met Polynesians. They thought I was a bigger Mexican. <laughs> 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 that, that's hilarious. Well, you could fool some people with that hat on right no, now, right? Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. <laughs> Great stuff on Cinco de Mayo. Listen, a lot of people are excited uh, that you made the choice to play football in Provo, even though it's not on the offensive line, uh, and, and you're a running back. You had an all-world career at East High School. Uh, you initially chose Wisconsin, but after your mission, you said, okay, I want to go to BYU. Why did you feel like BYU was the right place for you at this time? Okay, so growing up, I was, I was I'd been a BYU fan. So the, the true blue has always been in me. Um, coming back from my mission, um, you, you learn a lot of things. And um, I knew Coach Satake from, from Utah. He recruited me. And so it's always been a dream to play for BYU. And I took my visit here. I talked to my parents. And I felt like this was the best uh, position for me to play at. So, so when uh, Coach Satake got the job, did you think, OK, I need to seriously consider yeah, this? Yeah, oh, OK, we got to get things rolling. I want to see. What What's up with BYU now? So, well, now you've been on campus now for a couple of months. What have the What's the last little while been like as a Cougar? It's It's actually been really fun, like with the class, my, the football, the teammates, my surroundings. It's been It's actually been a cool ride. Yeah, you seem like you're having a good time for sure. I mean, who else comes on the set and puts on that hat? Like, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's do an, let's do an interview right now. I'm yeah. ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Ula Tolutao, the Newest BYU running back with us on BYU Sports Nation. What kind of a role do you expect to play for BYU football this upcoming season? Oh, that's a, that's a tough one. Well, I'm still learning. I'm still learning a lot, getting to know the offense. I'm trying to build a better relationship with like, my offensive line because, of course, that's where it starts, the anchor. Um, I hope to, hope to get some playing time and continue to, that same t uh, type of style of running at East like we did with the triple option. Hope I could still bring it here and uh, hopefully make a difference here with uh, my Cougar buddies. How close do you think you are condition-wise to, like, game speed and, and condition-wise for, for the season? Um, I'd probably say, like, 50. Yeah, I'm still trying to recover from eating all the Mexican food, <laughs> <laughs> all those pupusas and tacos and all that. So Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, and so, obviously, you're looking forward to a summer of, of being able to get in shape. What's, what's your summer schedule like to get yourself ready for fall camp and conditioning and all of that? Well, come May 8th, we have our, uh, our first summer. It's been about a whole month since we got into anything due to finals. So, hopefully, May 8th will be the day where the, the strengthening head coaches have a little surprise for us. Oh, a little <laughs> surprise? <laughs> yeah. I bet you're excited for that, aren't you? <laughs> Both ways. <laughs> Everybody that we talk to, whether it's current coaches at BYU, whether it's former coaches at East, everybody talks about your physicality, mm -hmm. just how physical of a runner you are. How do you think your game fits into what Coach Detmer is wanting to do with the offense? Um, so I think with the with the new style of offense that Ty Detmer's bringing, I think I fit a better uh, 
a good mix with that downhill running, good uh, physical, just ISO, little 24 zone, 25 zone here. So I think I fit a good picture with it. Do, do you are you the type of back that that craves that hit? That you, instead of getting hit, you're wanting to dish out the hit when you're running the ball. Yeah, yeah. Where, have you always been that way, or is that is that did that come as you as you got older, or was that just the way you've always been? I think that's just since I was little. I kind of like to get hit. I, I kind of like to get hit the first time, just to get the the momentum out of you, and then you just feel good and you just got to keep going. Okay, now I've watched your high school film very closely and saw you in spring football. We know that you can run people over. That mm-hmm. there's no question about that. But you've got a little juke in your step. Yeah. Uh, where did you pick that up from uh, in your high school days? Uh, I, I think from playing rugby. It's a little rugby step. Uh, my, my dad played rugby. I've been play, I, I never played rugby until my high school career, but it's a little, little rugby, rugby step. Has Coach David Smith come after you at all, Ula? No. Because no. <laughs> <laughs> you're a commodity, man. You're a oh. commodity. And BYU's got a pretty good rugby program. I don't know. Maybe you've heard that. <laughs> yeah, they are. So now BYU lost one of the greatest characters on the team in Jamal Williams, but that doesn't mean that there aren't still some pretty good characters in that running backs room. What is this group like when you guys get together? Oh man, you know, first of all, Coach Reno, my he he likes to have fun. So um, when we're, whenever we're together, um, of course we're having fun and we get down to business, but. It's just mostly everyone has their own different characteristics, and we all bring it together, and everyone just laughs. So we're just having a good time. What do you, what do you guys like to do together? Uh, I know that you had a Connect Four tournament at one point, we right? Did. <laughs> we did. We were supposed to be watching film. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Reno pulls out Connect Four and says, winner gets $20. <laughs> <laughs> and Kavika Funua won. <laughs> so. That is hilarious. Hey, Connect Four, I, I wouldn't put it past Reno. What's the best thing you've learned so far from your running backs coach? So I think. Um, it's definitely running routes, I think, just like getting it down and crisp because, you know, East High, we, we ran triple option, so it was just more of handoffs. And, I mean, I've been running routes my whole life, but just kind of getting the, the option route in, the swing route, the scat route, those are, those are one of the biggest things I'm learning to do. So over the next couple of months, you mentioned some of the things coming up. Between now and the start of fall camp, what's your schedule look like? Um... 6 a.m. to 11 in the morning. That's, that's when you work out. And what, what things what things will you be doing? I mean, off-season workouts, things like that leading into fall. Um, we'll be working out in the morning, and then um, you can go get a second workout if you want. And I'm, I'm doing some little cardio at night just to help me get back in, in shape and lose some weight. All right, Ula Tolutao, the newest BYU running back. Hey, w- just so you know, we are looking forward to the season getting underway, so much so – and maybe you know this, but we count down every single day. Hit it. Countdown to the Viking. One thirteen. Yes. Yes. Ula joins the party. <laughs> yes. Join it in. He joins the party. This interview was nothing what you expected it to be, was it? <laughs> At any point, did you think you would be wearing a sombrero today? No. <laughs> and I, I forgot it was Cinco de Mayo. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay. We are here to remind you. Yes. Thank you. This is your friendly party reminders on BYU Sports You're Nation. that well, by the way. Ula's Thank like, you. man, I'm never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a tradition. Uh, we would like you to sign our stretch wide flag as an in-studio guest. You can do that as we go to break, if you don't mind. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right. Ula Tolutau, the BYU bruising running back with us in studio. 